start the year and have to string three points. Oh, that's great. I mean, you guys can continue to have balance and get better in the running game, get better things are going, and then we have a long way to go. I mean, it's, it's, we're nowhere, nowhere close to what we need to do. And, uh, but it does feel very good to uh, put some you know, good running performances behind it. Good to Also be solid in the passing game, hit some, hit some big plays in the passing game. Had some opportunities that looked like you had to drop from a couple of things. I thought more of those guys out there. And, you let it go right out there. You let it out there just to hear more, but uh, we'll get there. You know, the score makes it seem like it's a blowout. Did it feel that way every time? No, it didn't. It was a very tight game, which I'm, I, which I'm glad the way we responded. It makes me feel better, even so with the coach, because it wasn't a blowout in the game. We had to run that football when it was matter, when it was still a two score game. They were battling back on the grinds of the game. They were saying, you know, I got the game that followed that. They didn't think that. They were going to be back the way it goes in football. And uh, I was, you know, more proud of the way we did it that way. It changes the whole dynamic because one, you have to keep people back side when they get the things in there. If he has quarterback runs, it's about a six foot difference. I want you to ask something. Everything in, in football, we fight for inches all the time, right? All of a sudden, if a lineman, when you don't have a quarterback running, so you're up a guy, he's having to reach to a guy over here. When it turns a quarterback running it and you got an extra blocker, now he's blocking a guy back here. You're talking about a six foot difference on leverage of what he has to do and how he has to do it. So his angle just makes him a better football player because of what you're asking him to do. You know what I'm saying? And then because you've got the back to be the extra guy, take up the block for that. And it just changes the whole dynamic. And then you have to be careful what coverage you can play because then you can get the one-on-one -on -one match up to what you want. But when you have that quarterback who's an athlete like that, it makes a huge difference. helps the line and makes them better. And then if they gain confidence, at the end we didn't have to run. And they start getting confident what they're doing and you get better. And well, I mean, anytime, I, I don't know many people who can lose a quarterback with that talent. Now, that's not an excuse, that's ball. That's ball. I mean, you gotta, you got to have, if you're a team in the program where you want to be, you got to uh, overcome and adapt. You know, like that, that, like that, like that, like that, like that a lot of them. But, you know, that, that's ball. You can't whine about that as a coach. That, that's, you got to figure out a way to get it. And, uh, you know, getting him back makes a big difference. They I didn't see. They said he pointed at the ball. <laughs> like that, and they're saying you can't do it. I mean, I, I, I got that. There's a rule. I think, uh, I'm not arguing with it, I guess. That's what it is. I mean, no, I always thought you couldn't. You know, they said you couldn't do the same. But he just pointed. I mean, he's pointed at the ball to tell our guys where it's at. Yeah. And that's right. I, I'm, 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 I'm wrong. I'm not saying I'm right. They said that, that, was that, that was good. That was good. They said I was a rule. You're not allowed to point at the ball. That's what they said. Let go. Is it safe to say that this is a four wide shotgun, no huddle offense now? No, because you go back and look at that run. We, we got some three wide. We got some. We got some eye formation. That first touchdown run was eye formation. That was a. Uh, no, well, it was split back pro. I mean, old split pro. But it wasn't eye. We got a little bit of eye. We're, we're, we're still ball. But we can go some no huddle. We can spread it out. And it does good. But we can still get back in conventional sets to be able to no huddle. And I think you got to do that sometimes because, let me tell you something, you got young tackles. You put two short corners out there, you're asking for trouble for a long time. you got to get young. you got to protect those guys sometimes, some way. Coach, you talked about it. CJ. I'm sorry. Defensive line, I thought, was good down in the game. For constant pressure on the quarterback. I mean, how many sacks did they end up with? They got uh, six. That was very good. They still deflected some balls, grass, caused some problems. Got an attempt on grounding once or twice. And they know it. I say it all the time, guys. You guys put your hand in the dirt. You got good ones up front. It changes the ball game. More specifically, coach, about your defensive line. You talked about CJ and Rob's abilities. Can you talk about uh, Bjorn and Brandon and their abilities to contain him today? Well, and, and stay upfield and get underneath and free rush. And then we're able to run him down. And then Timmy Jernigan comes to come with constant pressure up inside. You know, that's a force in the front. You know, I mean, that's the thing. You can get, as I say, sometimes it ain't just necessarily coming free. It's when you can make, take the walls and squeeze them in. Get the edges coming and you get the, get the push up the middle. To me, as a quarter, when I play quarterback, people play, that's worse than sometimes turning the guy loose. Turn the guy loose, sometimes you can make a miss. When the walls come caving in on you, it makes it tough. And we're getting good push on the edges, but we're also getting a lot of good inside push on our inside. Do you remember the main person who was in the last? Oh, the first two weeks in practice. Yeah, remember he sat for three weeks in here. He didn't practice today. I mean, he was out for the first three weeks. And, you know, we had migraines and all that. I mean, that might have a slight concussion issue. You know what I'm saying? He's got it. And 
you know, he, he was out of shape, just out of whack. And I mean, he was going to come in and get rid of him. And, and the other guys got rid of him. Tyler playing well, Aiden was playing well. You know, you had other guys playing well. And then, and as things went on, he kept working and getting back. And that's why I commend him for that. He has still had half a season left. He won them all. And for him to be stretched down the left the stretch and be hit things and that speed, that athleticism, it's, it's a great addition. And I'm glad he's, I'm glad he's getting back to the league. Oh, yeah, he is. He is. He's pushing himself up better and better. And, uh, I guess he's going to be another one. Well, we did. We got we, we did the matchup. I mean, I mean, we had some runs going on, but that's just what they gave us. And EJ was taking it. And we were able to execute and hit it. You know, got some big play wide out, which opened some things up in the running game. And we got them going. Coach, you, you stress finishing for your team. You run the country in the fourth quarter. But uh, you also do a bad taste like touchdown drive. Is that a bad taste in your mouth? Well, I don't leave a bad taste in my mouth. I just wish it wouldn't happen. You know, you, you know get Davis from working. And then last one, it looked like the one, he kind of got a little push on the one. But then that guy got it. And then the other guy made a great throw and catch. I mean, that's, that's the, even the big play that they got when Greg was on the guy. I mean, he's all over the guy. The guy jumps up. It's great. Kind of, sometimes they, they're on scholarship, too. You know, they make a play. So, uh, and then Mark, I wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't from lack of poor technique or lack of effort or anything else. They made a good play, so you know, that's that. You live with it, we'll correct the technique. All right, one, one more question to the coach. That's good right here. What do you think the young ones won on that last draw? Very good. Very, the last couple of drives. They got going in that second half and got some juice going for us. We were wanting to pound the ball and create a situation. I was going to force them a little bit, and, and I was very proud of what they said. Thanks, coach.